Hi there, Brian with Anderson Pens. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to fill and clean a vintage lever filler. So I have in front of me here, I have a 1940s Waterman uh, lever filler. And uh, one of the first things uh, I should mention is if you are buying uh, vintage pens and you don't know if they've been restored, we must assume that they have not been so. Uh, if you buy it at an antique store, uh, the inclination for a lot of people is to, the first thing they do want to do if it's a lever filler is to see if the lever works. Um, that, that's a, a bad thing to do for a number of reasons. The most important being, especially if it's a pen like this Waterman, which has this little box area around the lever. If the sack inside is hard, the way this is designed, if you pull up on the lever, it will have a, a end result of actually breaking, possibility of breaking this lever box, which means your repair just became more complicated. Let's just assume, if we don't know if it's been restored, if you bought it in an antique store, a garage sale, an estate sale, it needs to be restored. Once it's been restored, now we can fill the pen. So this is a nice, uh, like I say, 1940s Waterman lever filler. And uh, what we're gonna do is we've got our bottle of uh, Waterman Mysterious Blue here. And lever fillers operate under the system that there's a, a metal bar, what we call a J bar in here. Uh, in this particular pen, it's a little bit different, but uh, for all intents and purposes, there's a metal bar that presses down on a latex sack. And when we lift the lever up, it presses down on the bar, which compresses the sack, which pushes the air out. When the lever comes back and into position, it then creates a vacuum and sucks ink up into the sack or the bladder. So what we wanna do is first thing first, we always wanna make sure that when we put the pen in ink, we wanna put it in ink up to and including a little bit of the section or the grip section. Reason being, if we don't, when we return the lever back to its normal position, we may be sucking up some air. So we wanna make sure that the, the sack is full as, as fully as possible and that's the one way to do it. So I've got my ink here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in and yes, you're gonna get a little ink on the section. And as I pull it out, you will see bubbles come out. And so what's happening is you're pressing on that sack, you're pushing the air out. We're gonna release it back. Now many, many levers will stop at this perpendicular here. Some won't, so you wanna resist trying to go all the way over. Uh, pull out, and you'll see bubbles come out, and then gently release it back. Uh, try to avoid uh, snapping it back. That's, that's not, not any good on the system. Uh, but you can do this a couple of times until you no longer see bubbles come out. And that each time you do it, there should be fewer and smaller bubbles each time. That means there's less and less air going out and the sack is mostly full. So if I pull this out and then I'm just gonna gently wipe the nib on the end of the, the ink bottle. So grab your trusty rag. Um, I've got these old uh, kitchen towels, um, great source, uh, your, your local Goodwill or um, um, secondhand store. Uh, you can get some some good towels for cheap. Uh, try to avoid any kind of uh, facial uh, Kleenex tissues like that because they have fibers in them. You want to get those off. So towels are good or paper towels. And just gently wipe off the section so your fingers don't get ink on it. A little bit on the nib. And you may occasionally get some of this, this nib coming out of the, the slit so it's not entirely possible to get all that out sometimes. But... This one writes pretty nice. All right, so now it's time to empty the pen and clean it. Now, if you are simply, if you've simply run out of ink and you need to refill it, if you're using the same color ink, uh, it is safe to, in the same bottle, it's safe to refill this two, three, four times. Usually what I do is if the pen is starting to skip, um, uh, it's a little bit dried out at the, at, at the tip, uh, then maybe I'll clean it. But the, the you know, two, three fills on the same bottle of ink is, is okay without 
uh, refilling uh, or cleaning the pen. So I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna, if I wanna change ink, of course, then I'm just gonna empty that out. And if I put it up against the bottle, lip like that, and do it a couple times, I can save a couple more drops of ink. Make the cleaning process a little bit easier. So I'm gonna set the bottle aside here. And I've got a bottle of water, glass of water here. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat this same process. And you'll see the ink come out. Now, if we empty it out here, you can maybe even see better here, the bubbles that come out when we try to fill the pen. And this is cold water. You don't need to use anything else, not hot, no chemicals, um, no alcohol, no bleach. And you notice every time we do that, we get another bubble or two out, and then this, this time we didn't get any. So that's probably pretty full. Um, but just gently do this a few times, and the more often you do it, the less you'll see actually coming out of the nib end. Of course, the, the longer it's been since you cleaned it, that it might be take a little bit long. Water and ink is especially good for, uh, for cleaning because it's just so easy to clean out. Uh, and this is actually pretty clean um, already. Now, what I would suggest is, uh, I know a lot of people really, really want to get their pens absolutely clean. On a lever filler, uh, try not to be too obsessive about getting it perfectly, perfectly clean. Um, while it's a fairly robust system, uh, you never want to do it any more than absolutely necessary. Uh, and then I've got my cloth here. I'm just going to wipe it down. Still got a little bit. If I, if I leave the lever open, then I can just operate this a couple times too and get that last little bit out of there. What I would now do is I would just leave this open on my desk or in a tray and let it, let it air dry overnight. And then the next day I would take it and just put the cap on and put it back in the drawer uh, or fill it with the next bottle of ink. So there you have it how to fill and clean a vintage lever filler. Be sure to check us out on social media as Anderson Pens or visit our store in Appleton, Wisconsin.